Hey, it's Kyle, and this is another iOS Lead Essentials Community Q&A episode. And the question today is from Tulio. How can I test code that dispatches work to the main dispatch queue asynchronously? If I remove the thread handling code, my test succeeds. So I created a small demo project here, demonstrating the problem. So we got a view controller here with a label and a service. And on view did load, we set the label text to loading. We make a request to load some data from the service. We get the text back and we need to update the UI in the main queue because this service may complete in a background queue and we need to update the UI in the main queue. So let's run the app. You can see loading and boom, loaded. But how can we test this code? So I wrote a test here to demonstrate the challenge. So on view did load, we expect to render the string from the service. So we create a service spy to capture the load method invocations. Then we create a view controller with that service. We tell the view controller to load the view. And at that point, we expect the label text to be loading. And then we complete the service request with any string. And we expect the label to be the string the service returned. But if you run this test, it's not going to pass. Even though we are completing the request synchronously, in production, we are dispatching to the main queue asynchronously. So this completion block will be executed sometime in the future, after the assertion. So as Tulio said, if you remove the dispatch queue async call, the test passes. But if you run the app in production, it crashes because we cannot update the UI out of the main thread. So a common solution here is to move the thread dispatch to the real service implementation. But I don't like this solution because now my service is kind of coupled with the user interface. It only dispatches to the main queue because the UI needs it, not because the service needs it. And maybe after the service finishes, we still want to do some extra work in a background queue. So moving this logic, the dispatch async operation to the service works, but I don't think it's the best solution. What I recommend you do is to remove this logic from the UI and not move it to the service, but rather move threading to the composition root. So here in the composition root, where we compose our objects, you can decorate your production service in a main queue dispatch decorator. Now we can run the tests in a pass. And if you run the production code, it works. So since the service is a polymorphic interface, it's a protocol, we can create a decorator that implements that interface and decorate an instance that implements that interface. It forwards the message to the service it's decorating. And when it gets a result back, it calls the result on the main thread. So here it checks. If you are already on the main thread, it just executes the work immediately. Otherwise, dispatches it asynchronously to the main dispatch queue. And this threading logic can be moved to the composition root. Thus, you can test your service and your UI without concern about threading, which makes both implementations much simpler and also makes testing much simpler as well. As you can see here, we don't need to add any logic to wait for this asynchronous block to execute. We don't need to inject any queue into the view controller. We simply test the behavior we want synchronously on the main thread. All we need to do is to wrap our asynchronous service that dispatches in a global queue in this main queue dispatch decorator. And this is done in the composition route when you are composing your services. But let's say you are working on a legacy code base 
and you don't have these polymorphic interfaces that you can wrap and compose, what can you do then? So let's say it's not that easy for you to get rid of the dispatch queue. What can you do in a legacy code base? Well, what I recommend you do is to implement a function like this guarantee main thread that will check if you are already on the main queue, execute work immediately. Otherwise, dispatch work to the main queue. So since you're running tests on the main queue, this block will be executed immediately. So your tests will pass. Let's run the test. It passes. And since in production it completes on a background queue, it will dispatch it to the main queue. So when dealing with legacy code bases, I like to create this wrapper function just to get legacy code under test. But over time, I will move this logic to the composition root to simplify my implementations and testing. So that's it for today. I hope you find this content useful. So don't forget to subscribe and share this content with others. See you next time. Mm -hmm.